Frontstretch.com, Jared Haas down here with Josh Rayum. Josh, talk about your race from your perspective, too. Rain shortened. Um, like I said, you still got a lead lap finish, correct? But tell us from your perspective how it was the truck. Well, first of all, I'm really thankful to uh, Jags Metal, uh, Motorsport Safety Group, Colonial Countertop, Ledbrack, uh, Viper, um, every, everybody who came on board to make it happen. I'm um, really thankful to uh, the whole AM bunch for the opportunity. Um, and what a fast speedway truck. Um, we, we stuck to our strategy. You know, we stayed in the back, stayed out of trouble. And uh, if, you know, it hadn't rained, I, I think there would have been one more big rack and and then from there we would have we would have been in a place where we feel like we could have gone forward. Um, honestly, we were just riding all day. You know, we had a really fast truck. Um, so thankful for all that. And then, uh, yeah, as far as my as far as my other trucks are concerned, you know, I think they had an okay day. Had got some damage and stuff, but um, you know, it, it's hard when you don't when you don't get to run the whole race. It kind of stinks. But and you had all three trucks make the field too, and you were a pretty nervous boss man. You were looking over your laptop to make sure all three trucks were in. What does that say with your program that they were able to come to Daytona and make the field? Well, for starters, it's a testament to our crew guys, right? Because we had a shop fire a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I mean, we we just didn't give up, you know what I mean? Um, and there were so many teams, AM Racing, uh, GMS, uh, HRE, you know, NASCAR, so many different people worked with us to to help us get back um, to go racing. So for all the trucks to be able to make the race and, and do what they did was uh, was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, it is nerve wracking, you know what I mean? There's six people getting sent home and, you know, everybody's got a lot of questions. They want to know if they're in the show or not. So um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's nerve wracking for sure. And one of the teams that you mentioned was AM Racing and they ran 22, like I said, majority of the season. How did that deal work out where you were running the 22 for this truck for this uh, weekend? Man, it's, it's just kind of like all the stars sort of aligning, I guess. Um, maybe that's a bad way of putting it. You know, it's, you know, between the, the fire that we had and, and Max and, and, and his brother and their accident, um, you know, I got asked, um, if I was interested in, in driving it. And, um, you know, of course it's a dream come true, right? It's a, a super, super nice, uh, truck and had a lot of speed. Uh, but really, I think at the end of the day, it just boils down to, to Wade and Kevin Sawinski and Tracy and everybody up there at AM Racing, you know, as far as I'm concerned, they just they put a lot of put a lot of faith in me and, and uh, gave me a great opportunity. So, uh, regardless of, of everything, you know, we got 19th and we don't have really a scratch on the truck. So, so you know, we can be proud of that. And I feel like feel like they built a really great truck. And if the race continued on, I know we would have we would have gone forward even more. You know, but I can't guarantee we wouldn't have had damage. And one of the lighter notes is looking ahead. You reached out to Todd Gillen to work out a deal to finish that Cup Series race on his schedule to for him to be in the full 36 races where Rick Ray Racing picked up the other five. Yep. How was that ordeal? You at least uh, exchanged numbers on that. How is that still developing? How's the uh, situation with uh, Todd? Yeah, for sure. So Todd Todd did text me, so that's good. So, uh, you know, he's got a busy weekend here with the 500, and, uh, you know, and I've been quite busy myself too, but... Um, I'm sure we'll get together um, this next week when we get back, and um, I think it would it would be a really positive thing if we could make it happen. You know, put them in the Cup car. Um, obviously, we're all Fords, so there's there's uh, some alignment there. Um, you know, and I think you know I think Todd's a really talented driver, and he had some really great runs, and I think that he could for sure pull off a win in Cup this year. There's no question, especially on road courses. And I mean, he showed his speed in the duels, right? So um, I would love to see him get in our Cup car, and um, and I'd love to be able to, you know, help bridge that gap and keep him playoff eligible. And if I can check some boxes and, and you know, uh, you know, make make Ford uh, happy um, and help a Ford driver and a Ford team, I think uh, I think it's a win-win-win, right? So, Dr. Josh Rayum here. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hey everyone, Zane Smith, driver number 38 Ford for Front Row Motorsports. Be sure to subscribe to Front Stretch on YouTube.